Hi, this is Harish Bani from technofair.com. If you are new to Google Forms, I would suggest you to watch my previous video on how to use Google Forms and then come back. Link for the same is given in description below. So what is regular expression? In simple terms, these are few characters that help to set pattern to a string. I have tried to make this tutorial as simple as possible so that non-engineers like me also find it easy to learn. There are four question types that support regular expressions as of now. text. Paragraph text, grid, and checkboxes. Let me now head over to computer to share some of the thought provoking stuff on use of regular expressions. To learn more, watch this video. For ease of this tutorial, I have designed a sample form for a college event. There are a few questions on which I am going to use regular expression. Let me show you the live form. For that, click on view live form and your live form will open. I am entering my name here. It's showing error right in caps. So let me put my caps on and enter my name in caps and it's accepting it. Let me now go back to the form and show you the syntax. This is the form. Click on advanced settings. I have chosen regular expression matches and this is the syntax that I have used. This is the error text message. Now let me break the syntax into parts and explain you each part in detail. These three dots in square brackets means they are used to match any character from a set of characters can put any range in the expression like a to z small or in caps or digits from 0 to 9. Backslash s is used to match any white space character like gym backslash s tips. This will represent gym tips. So there is a space between your first name and your surname. So that's why this backslash is used. Let me now explain the purpose of this asterisk outside square brackets. Asterisk after a character is used to signify a search for that preceding character repeated zero or more times. For example, in the word caught, if you put an asterisk before T, it means it matches O for zero or more number of times followed by a T. Like it can become CT or COT caught or C O O T etc. If I remove asterisk and backslash s from the syntax then the regular expression will accept only one alphabet from a range of A to Z. For similar results I can use another syntax which is square brackets A hyphen Z backslash s brackets close brace open one comma and brace close. I have already discussed about these three dots. I have discussed about backslash s its use and now coming to brace. Its function is that it reads the minimum and maximum number of digits within the brace. For example, if you put 1 comma 4, it means that minimum length that is allowed is 1 and max is 4. And if you don't put any digit after 1 like it's done here 1 comma brace close, it means n digits. Difference between square brackets and brace is that square bracket is used to set range to the characters that you use. And brace is used to set minimum and max length of characters inside the brace. Let me now go back to the form. Student can select his study year from first, second, third or fourth year and then go to roll number in the third question. Let's say roll number of this college are designed in such a manner that roll numbers of first year start from A followed by five digits. Second year roll number start from B followed by five digits. Roll numbers of third year students start from C followed by five digits and roll number of fourth year which is the final year start from F followed by seven digits. So let me now put up a roll number here. Let's say I am putting up A small 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, it's showing enter a valid roll number. Moment I go back and make it from small to caps, it accepts the roll number. Let me try entering sixth digit and it shows invalid. If I enter F 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, it accepts. Moment I try entering the eighth digit, it shows invalid. If I go back and again make the six digits, it shows invalid. Let me now go back to the form and show you the expression that I have used. This is the expression. 
Let me now explain each part of this expression in detail. A, B, C. This implies these three characters dot dot and dot. Backslash D. It is used to match any digit from 0 to 9. Then this brace 5 comma 5. This means a digit can be minimum 5 and max 5 characters. I have already discussed this brace close and there is a pipe in between which is used to indicate alteration which is also known as or we normally use it as bat pipe ball which matches both words bat or ball and then I put F capital within square brackets which means if it is not A B C then it is F backslash D which means any digit between 0 to 9 followed by brace 7 comma 7 meaning 7 digits minimum 7 digits max after F. Let me now go back to the form. Let's say if I remove this backslash D from the syntax then it will not take the number of digits but will take characters from A, B, C with minimum and maximum length of 5 or only F from a length of 7 like A, B, C, B, C or maybe 7 times F etc. So I need to put backslash D in this syntax to determine that the minimum and maximum length is for digits. Let's go back to the form. Are you interested in becoming a volunteer for the event? Yes. Continue. Okay. Let's now come to email ID. Let me enter an email ID abc.123 at gmail.com. Enter. It's accepting. If I put a gap between dot and 123 and then check it's showing an error or after closing this gap instead of dot com if i go and type at gmail dot harish it's showing an error there similarly i can try out something else like au it's accepting or i can also check out and try dot uk it's accepting let me now show you the regular expression that i have used for this email id advanced setting this is the regular expression that has been used. Let's understand each part of this expression in detail. This email expression starts from a caret. This symbol of caret is just above 6 key in a standard QWERTY keyboard. Caret is used for matching the start of a line or string of a text that regular expression is searching. For example, caret A with 4 dots captures any 4 digits word that is a subject line beginning with the letters A. Caret is always used in the starting of the syntax. These three dots or periods as they are called with square brackets is used to match any character from a set of characters. We have already spoken about this plus outside the brackets. Its definition is plus after a character is used to signify for a character displayed one or more times. For example, CO plus T means it matches one or more O characters followed by a T. COT is one example c o o t is another example then c triple o t can also be an example similarly at the rate of is just a special character it doesn't have any power here let's say my email id is abc.123 at gmail.com so the first part of the expression which is in the square brackets will read the portion abc.123 then at the rate is coming here then it will read at gmail.com or yahoo.com or any other domain from this second bracket which has got digits as well as alphabets. Look at these last square brackets after dot which has got a to z in small and a to z in capital. This is for dot com, dot au or any other extension with a two or a four digit because I have mentioned it should have a minimum two and max four digits. And if you carefully see there is a backslash here. It is used to nullify the power of dot which is otherwise a regular expression that means one single character. So if I put a backslash here it diffuses the power of this dot. This expression ends with dollar in last. Dollar is used for matching the end of the line or string of text that regular expression is searching. For example let's say there are four dots and f followed by a dollar. This captures any four digit word that has a subject line ending with the letters F. Dollar is always used in the end of the syntax. 
let's go back to the form and check out the next question this is about mobile number let's say there are 10 digit mobile numbers in india so i am typing 43210 so it's accepting this as valid moment i reduce this and make it 9 there's an error and if i make it 11 digit it's still showing error 10 digits working perfectly fine let me now show you the syntax that has been used for the same this is the mobile number advanced setting regular expression matches this is the syntax let's understand each part in detail square bracket open 0 hyphen 9 square bracket close we have already discussed this that it is used to match any character from a set of characters then brace open 10 comma 10 means that minimum digits that are allowed are 10 and max digits that are allowed are also 10 let's go back to the form let's try and make this little complex mobile numbers in india start either from 7 or 8 or 9 followed by 9 digits so let's make this square brackets open 7 8 9 brackets close and then backslash d for digits between 0 to 9 and open brace and write 9 there and close the brace and then put a dollar in last before the expression you will also need to put a caret like this and put a error text message check your mobile number and done let's check this in form refresh it let me now type a mobile number which is 10 digits starting from 9 it's accepting if i change the first digit from 9 to 6 it's showing error similarly if i try to make it 5 there's still an error there and keeping the first digit at 9 and increasing the total length from 10 to 11 digits it's showing error again there is another way to get similar results for the same question let's go back to the form mobile number let's remove this syntax and type a new one caret square brackets 7 hyphen 9 square brackets close another square bracket opens 0 hyphen 9 square brackets close brace open 9 brace close and a dollar there this expression will also throw an error check your mobile number if the first digit doesn't start from a digit between 7 to 9 followed by 9 digits so by, that's why we have 0 to 9 here within brackets and purpose of this 9 within brace is that it can have any digit repeated 9 times after the first digit and expression ends with a dollar the way it started with a caret let's go to the next question this is a simple choice question the volunteer wants to choose band fund or sitting and next question is an input event so anyone can enter the inputs within a character set given in the syntax let me go to the form and check this out inputs advanced setting expression regular expression matching this is syntax backslash w within square brackets followed by 20 comma 140 within braces means that anyone filling up the form will have to put in minimum 20 characters or max 140 characters otherwise it will show an error word limit is 140 let's go to the last question of this form which is enter your website url or link of your youtube video so let's say if i go and type it as www.technofair.com it's not accepting because help text says that it should start with http or https so i will have to type it as https or http back forward slash twice www.technofair.com and it's accepting it let's now go and see the syntax 
this is syntax that has been used this regular expression on website url starts with https followed by a question mark let's understand what does this question mark mean it's used to indicate that the preceding character or expression can match zero or one times so what that means is whether you write http s or http both are valid then there is a colon that we normally use to write http colon forward slash forward slash and you can see a black backslash coming twice so purpose of this backslash is backslash before each period escapes the period that is it indicates that the period is not a rejects special character itself in other words it disables the power of a regular expression few examples one backslash plus one is equal to one plus one my website domain can have any digits or characters a to z or zero to nine with a hyphen in between or a dot in between and then these square brackets close let's not talk about this plus sign in between these two square brackets the definition of this sign is plus after a character is used to signify for a character displayed one or more times for example co plus t means it matches one or more o characters followed by a t for example cot c o o t or c triple o t now if you look at this portion after dot in brackets this is a hyphen z also a hyphen z in caps with close brackets this is for com dot au dot uk dot in kind of extensions and two is mentioned here with a comma which means that it should have minimum two digits in the last like dot au dot in or dot uk with nothing after comma means that it can have more many more digits while you can restrict this to four or five this is whatever you think is the maximum number of a domain extension that are possible then there is a pipe here which is a straight line pipe is used to indicate alternation which is also known as or syntax bat pipe ball matches the word bat or ball then there is this https with a question mark meaning you can use it with s or without s forward slash forward slash after colon and then there are two backslashes to nullify the effect then there is a www to indicate whether you use it or not still the expression will be valid then you can use this link youtube and check this out to ensure that if you enter a youtube url also it will be treated as valid also look at these curve brackets these are used to group parts of an expression if you look at dot it is used for matching any single character and last thing out over here is this asterisk asterisk after a character is used to signify a search for that preceding character repeated zero or more times for example co asterisk t means it matches o for zero or more number of times followed by a t so it could be ct which is zero times o repeated cot or coot so on and so forth as far as regular expression is concerned there are no fixed questions or for that matter there are no fixed answers so one will have to try and explore various combinations to learn more and more about regular expression for that what is more important is that one should learn the basics and then explore and understand and at the same time try and customize basis one's requirement i hope you enjoyed watching this video if you found this video useful do give it a thumbs up also watch other interesting videos by clicking on the links appearing in front of your screen don't forget to subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching